John, you mentioned the teams that have hopes of the Fiesta Bowl. And that fan, along with many, many more in Columbus, Ohio, on a cool November day. It's time for hot chocolate, hot food, and a hot team. They're perfect at 9-0. and and 105,000 plus will be on hand in the horseshoe today in hopes of seeing Ohio State become a perfect 10. They're fourth in the country, and number 19, Minnesota, comes in with a 7 and 1 mark. The shadows will cast over the stadium later, and it'll become even colder. But right now, picture perfect football day in Columbus. Minnesota won the toss. They've deferred. All right, so that means Dan and Eistrom will tee it up, and Chris Gamble, who Swanee just talked about, joins Maurice Hall back deep for the Buckeyes. Seven and one Minnesota, nine and oh Ohio State. The kick to Gamble a yard deep. And here he comes. Across the 20, got the corner. Tiptoes down the sideline. Now it's a full house backfield. And the tight end in motion, Hartstock out of it. It's a toss to Ross, and down he goes. Lost a yard or two. At the AT&T wireless, Starting lineup for Ohio State, Douglas and Clark. Stepanovich is the leader of that group, Bishop and Olivier. Olivier coming off an appendectomy, and we'll hope that he doesn't get hit in that area, or he may not last long. Last week, uh, he had it. That's right. Brandon Jones, the fullback. You saw Ross already. Hartstock is the tight end, and Jenkins and Gamble. I mentioned that because I've got a lot of respect <laughs> for those guys. Here's a little quick opening draw, and that draw gets closed down. Offensive front, Nixon. Kwapinski, Reed, who just made the tackle, and Mark Lossley. The linebacking core, Ben West, is their leading tackler. He's got 69 on the year. Campbell and Vance flank him. And in the secondary, Lehan, Isom, Eli Ward, and Yuki Dozier on their opening drive. Frenzel getting some pressure. Craig steps up. Now he's going to have to keep it and eat it, and he'll go down after a pickup of about a yard. Upchurch is back deep for the Golden Gophers. And they blocked it. Somebody got a hand on it out near the 30-yard line, and it's going to go out of bounds. So Minnesota, a team that's done so well. Jermaine Mays, that's his fourth blocked punt of the year. So Minnesota with an opportunity here at the Ohio State 27-yard line. The toss, they fake the end around. Jackson finds an opening, and he flies inside the 20. Abdul Khalik. Changing things up at the line. Looks to Jackson, his tailback, and gives him the hand to the left side. Trying to get to the corner. Might have gotten the first down. This is unbelievable. They've got two freshmen starting in their offensive line, including Greg Esslinger at the center position. These two guys are true freshmen. Carter, Quinn, and Cuffey join those two. Satterstrom and Enslinger. And Jackson to pay. Utech is a big time tight end, and Hosack and Burns are the wide receivers. So, first down for the Gophers. Nice play fake. Abdul Khalid on a keeper. And he gets run right into the kicking down on the near side. In the middle of the action, Paul. Really help the young guys out. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Run. Looks first like a loose. Some... And an eye backfield now. On first and goal, Jackson. C. Grant. Draped all over him. Very strong on the line. Smith and Anderson, Peterson and Scott. The linebacking core, Matt Wilhelm, is a semifinalist for the Butkus Award. C. Grant just made that play. Robert Reynolds on the other side. And the secondary, you know the strengths. Nikki and Doss, the two captains back there at the safety spot. Fox and Chris Gamble. Inside the red zone, Minnesota. Second down and goal at the Ohio State nine. They came on what looked like was going to be a little bit of an option. As thrown touchdown passes in 10 straight games, which ties Mike Holmes' school record. He'd love to have another one right here. Oh, Lofts it to Hosack. Oh, he, he had him. He had him and overshot him. Dan Nystrom to attempt a 24-yard field goal. Trying to get something out of the turnover, or the block, what I should say. And the kick on the way. He doesn't miss good. He doesn't miss many. No, he doesn't. Neither kicker misses many. So the Gophers capitalize on the block punt. They get a 24-yard field goal to take the lead on the road. After blocking the field goal, they went 20 yards in seven plays and got a field goal. And now Nystrom will kick off. Gamble waits on it on the other end. And hesitates and now brings it out from five yards deep. And he pays the price. Yeah. Oh, we got the matchup we wanted. We just didn't hit it. Hartsock, the tight end in motion. Here's a toss. On the ground. 
on L. Ross. Let him get into the flow with these other guys get into it. Krenzel still looking for his first throw, and he's not going to get this one off either. Minnesota swims all over him. And the Gophers flying around out there. Paul Nixon from the 11-yard line. Krenzel flushed from the pocket again. Still waiting. And incomplete. Good coverage. And then earlier in this quarter, did the same thing. This kick takes Upchurch back to the 34. Made the first man miss. And Upchurch up to the 45-yard line. Columbus, where Minnesota leads 3-0. They've got it for the second time, and Terry Jackson's got about four. Got four there. Second down and six. Quick throw. Out complete to Burns. And Burns to the corner where Doss met him. It's You've got to wonder, but I'm very impressed early in this ball game. They don't seem rattled by being hey, trusted by 5,000 people. Look past the Gophers. Brett Mason's done a nice job with a 500 record now in his sixth season. There's the throw, and it's complete, and it's another first down. Football, there's something wrong. Well, they have definitely come to play so far. Abdul Kalik on the keeper on a little option. Oklahoma leading Colorado 7-3. to three. Brad, back to you. Penalty marker down. Thanks, John. Confession tomorrow. Yeah. And a holding call to the 36 yard line. Going to have to hurry to get the playoff. Here comes a blitz. Wide open and overshooting Hosack again. Those have been high so far. A little too much adrenaline flow in there. And it's third down and 15. Ohio State looks like they're going to bring the house. And they're not. They back out of the blitz. Abdul Khalid, though, staying home. A nice play. Simon Frazier who made the tackle. Them into a punting situation. Watch your hands! And Gamble lets this one go and it makes the end zone. From up above on a crystal clear November day. About 40 degrees right now as the shadows come over the stadium. Here's Ross. We still have not seen Maurice Claret. We'll have him at least sidelined for now. Ross, his replacement, finds an opening. Should have a first down with that room. Afternoon. So that's maybe why he's standing right next to the coach. If everything keeps going well, you don't want to lose a ball game either. But this represents now, obviously a, a great opportunity for Lydell Ross. You talked about the running backs from Minnesota. So he can get the job done. And so far today, he has done a good job. Here he is again, and he breaks into the secondary. Ross across the 45 and all the way to the 49 yard line of Minnesota. And that's what we're talking about. Territory. For the Ohio State offense. Ross gets the call again. And gets to the 45. We'll give him three more. I was up studying. Yeah, that's right. Study. 45 second down and seven balls loose. But Minnesota's got it. Gophers are on top of it. Bradley Vance, the linebacker. Time Minnesota has an opportunity. Great field position. Jackson on a toss. And Jackson's got six and into Ohio State territory. We're about 75-80%. Second down four. Jackson again with Mike Doss just stuck him in the hole. Holding. Offense. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. Remains second down. From the 41 now. And the guilty party. Ball start. Offense. Five yard penalty remains second down. From the 36. Second down and 19. Abdul Khalid comes up throwing. Got it out to Burns. But Gamble is draped all over him. Kicking back a blocker when he got to the Miami Dolphins. To pay. The running is tough right now. Greening to punt again. Low snap. Gamble waits on the other end. And he'll take it. Penalty marker down as Gamble gets out across the 30. Kick catch interference. Violation of the two yard belt. They'll take time the penalty take the result of the play. First down. End of the first so quarter. So it was on Minnesota for the halo violation. End of the first quarter. It's a three-point Minnesota lead. At their own 32-yard line. Krenzel from the shotgun. Quick throw. Gamble. Two tight ends. On second down and a long six. Okay, he seems to elevate everybody around him, whereas maybe the other guys don't quite do that. Here's a throw out, first down. Gamble's got the catch, and he 
he's out of bounds. Doesn't have to be a long pass. Just get it in his hands. Play action. Krenzel is going long this time. Vance is out there and it's almost intercepted. Took away the outside. The DB ended up with a better shot at the ball than the wide receiver did. Now in a little draw play on second and ten. And this one's going nowhere. Minnesota defense he lines up there in his right defensive end spot again on the third and eleven. And he'll be bringing some heat on the quarterback. Krenzel play action. Flushed from the pocket. Craig's looking for help and got out of it somehow. Almost got out of it. They never want to throw it out of bounds. They always try to make something out of a play. Rooms punt. Danny Upchurch lets it go. It's going to be Danny. Rolled in at the one. And number one, Bobby Britton down there to cover it. Great kick. 3 0 Minnesota. <laughs> This one taken at the eight yard line by Upchurch. And Upchurch fighting his way to maybe the 18 yard line. There was a penalty marker on the previous punt. And quite frankly, it took us about a minute to see it. it Kitzman used to have that record a long time ago back in the 70s. Nobody ever thought it would get touched. Here's the long ball. Going deep. Incomplete intended for Aaron Hosack. Third down and nine now for Abdul Kalik. Option. And he'll keep it again. Flags down again. And he only got to the 25. And it is holding against the Gophers. Here's a punt by Greening. Gamble trying to clear everybody out and does. Against the wind. That's a pretty good punt. Not a bad punt at all. Ross now back at the tailback spot. They faked the toss to him. Krenzel looking to throw. And again, good coverage. And again, he'll go down. Minnesota secondary is doing a good job for Lehan. Second down and 14 now after the sack. Krenzel play action. Pressure coming, going deep down the middle for Vance. It's intercepted. Picked off by Lehan, who no. Bob just talked about. They said no. Up, oh, they're going to say no. It hit the ground. Defensive captain Lehan almost with a big play. Third down at 14. He'll be hawking the ball again here, probably. Krenzel's in trouble again. Still looking for a place, and down he goes again. And Minnesota's looking like the perfect people leaders out here. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. That's a 15 yard penalty. Also, there's a sideline warning on the play on Minnesota's bench. That's the first warning of the game. There is no yardage with that warning. So he meant the defense. Out of Columbus, Ohio, back as the punt returner. Upchurch on the run. Oh, nice collision there. And it's to pay in now as a single setback, two tight end formation for the Gophers. And to pay, he can't find any running room. The state's been a little tougher, one and four. But that one win was two years ago here. And they carried him off the field as players after that game. To pay. Uh, Nick Saban's uh, down at LSU, and, uh, and a lot of guys were in pro football, so. Uh... Straight three and out. So a lot of defense, not much offense right now. Beautiful punt against the wind again. Gamble will have a chance at it, though, in the 27. And Minnesota's there to meet him. He only got about two yards at the 30 yard line. High backfield. Lydell Ross back there, and he'll get the handle. Ross set to the corner. Got a first down, and then some. Knocked out of bounds. Got 14 out to the 44 with a first down. And here's Ross again. This time they meet him in the hole, and he picked up a couple. Krenzel now will work from the shotgun with 640 remaining in the half. Craig, plenty of time. Still has a pocket to work from. Got it across the middle. And on the run is Michael Jenkins. Jenkins has great speed. They're going to bring him down at the six. But it's first and goal, Ohio State. Longest pass play of the year for Ohio State. 49 yards. First and goal for the Buckeyes. Trying to take the lead. Ross inside. He takes the lead. Touchdown, Ohio State. The big pass play and then five yards on the ground almost untouched. Don't hurt your shoulder there Maurice. And he does. So just like that. Number four team in the country has taken the lead over Minnesota. Lydell Ross does the honors after the long pass play, scoring from five yards up. And Ant 
Antoine Burns and Jermaine Mays back deep for Minnesota. Nugent with the wind at his back. And it goes into the end zone. And Minnesota will work from the 20 yard line. I think he was like a two or three time All American, wasn't he? 68, 69, 70, right in there as the pass is complete out there. And Hosack, I'm losing ground and I had the right answer. <laughs> I don't get it anymore. Second and four. That's a good look. Third down and five for Minnesota. Abdul Kalik going to tuck it and run with it, and he didn't get it. Greening to punt. Look out. And they stuff it. At the 14 yard line, they swallow the punt. Turnabout is fair play. Donnie Nicky's got this one, and he almost kept that wrapped up in his stomach and kept running with it. That's how much he was all over that punt. Third block punt for Ohio State this year. Now on a quick strike, they wanted to go to the end zone. Krenzel has to pull it down, though, because the coverage by Minnesota is good again. Would indicate the same. Gamble in motion. Second down at 12. Krenzel rolls to his right, wants to throw back to the left, and does to Hartsock is tight end, and he's going nowhere. They had that one all figured out. Third and 16 here. And number 16 back to throw. Krenzel to the end zone. Shot it. He had him. He had him and missed him. Mm. It was Hartsock. The 18 out of 18. This will be a 37 yard try. From the left hash. Nugent's kick. Perfect again. Solid. Solid. Right down the old cheerleading megaphone down there. So two block punts in the ball game. One by each team led to three points. That's right. On each side. So they rushed the passer pretty good. That'll be a good matchup. Here's a kick over the head of everybody again with the wind He's playing against the defense today that uh, would just soon shut him down. And here's a defense that's shutting Minnesota down. Second down and eight. The toughest position to come out of high school and play in college your first year is offensive line. Here's a throw on completes Burns. Second down, a third down rather. Minnesota hasn't picked one up yet, but they do here. Jackson finds a little seam. First Jim Stillwagon would disagree with us. John Hicks and, and all those other guys. Just... <laughs> First down, long ball in dangerous territory. Almost picked off by Nicky. Second down at 10. Three wide receiver group for Abdul Khalif. But it's Jackson on the ground, and Jackson cuts it up and got close to another first down. Third down and a yard. A big play here for Minnesota if they're to try to get more points before the break, and it's an option pitch out. To Jackson, and he's got a first down across the midfield. The seventh play of the Golden Gopher Drive. This one's in Buckeye territory. Jackson weaving his way. Got about three. And their kicker would be kicking into the wind on a field goal attempt. Second down, a long six. Took a long time to get that play off. Here's a deep ball for Burns out there, and he almost made the catch. Flags down. Chris Gamble was covering. That might be on the offense. Offensive player. It is. Separation. Swanee did that so well. They faked the end around. To pay keeps it and goes down. So they tried the long ball and ended up with an offensive pass interference. And after that, decided that 10-3 was okay. In Columbus, Maurice Claret has not played in the game. Their team in front without him. 10-3 in a defensive battle. Capital One halftime report with John Saunders from New York in just a moment. Mike Nugent's kick. Burns and Mays wait on the other end. This one will be returnable. Mays from the five. Burns rather from the five out across the 25. <laughs> First down from the 27. Here's the stretch play. Jackson gets swallowed up. A loss at two. Dustin Fox. Trying to change the play and finally got one call, got a block on the corner, throwing long on the sideline. And it's incomplete intended for Hosack. Buckeye fans come to life for their defense. Here's the handoff. Again is Jackson. Great job by the true freshman Hawk. No. They'll be playing against each other a long time. Bad snap. And it hit the ground, and so did his knee. It's Ohio State football right there. What else can go wrong for the punting unit for Minnesota? Frenzel, the give to Ross. And Ross is bottled up. And the punt. 
Second and goal at the Golden Goal for nine. And here's Ross, left side. Cuts it up inside. Touchdown. His second of the day. This one's from nine yards out. Ryan Hamby, the tight end, got him a good block. And Ross did the rest. And now the Buckeyes lead 16 to 3. And now it's looking more and more like they won't have to play correct for any reason because Ross is doing the job for everybody. His second score of the day. And with the extra points, the Buckeyes 17, Minnesota 3. With 17 unanswered points for the Buckeyes. Nugent's kick. Taken by Burns again at about the five. Trying to weave his way through traffic, and he can't. Didn't even make the 20. Play action. Abdul Khalik throws off the run. And it's Bogus, his number two tight end. Oh, you have a cramp when you catch one. <laughs> Here's a throw. Out to Mays, lands down. Well, the, the, there you go right there. It's holding on the wide receiver. Second down and 12. Crowd getting loud again. Play action. Abdul Khalid can't get away. Oh, nice play. Darian Scott just wouldn't let go. Nice play. He hopped at him at the 10-yard line. Third and 20 there. To pay. Found a little opening. Got about 10 of it back, back to the original line of scrimmage. The snap's good. Kick hangs in the air. On the run, Gamble dropped it. He gambled, but he did pick it up and got to about the 47-yard line. Seven yard line. Here's Ross with two touchdowns today. Looking for more. And gets about five. 17 to three. Ross this time, hole on the left side, and it closed at the 41, just outside the Minnesota 40. Krenzel drops to throw and got it away and got his tight end first down. Hartsock out of bounds. Passing yardage since the first quarter. Now Ross with Charles Keith wrapping him up. Minnesota's finding that out today. Yeah, it's tough to run. Second down nine. Krenzel looks like he might run. Got a block from his wide receiver, and he got down to the 23-yard line. It's Krenzel. He does it himself. Unbalanced line here. See these four guys over here? First down, and they run it up the middle with Ross. Second down and seven at the Minnesota 18-yard line with 6.55 to go third quarter, and it's Ross again. Cuts back into the middle, only got about a yard that time. About 65 of those prime candidates in Ohio, maybe 165. Here's Ross. <laughs> to work together. 33-yard field goal attempt by Nugent. And this one is good, too. 20 straight this year by Nugent. And another three for Ohio State by 25 in the third quarter. Buckeyes lead the Gophers by 17. Burns that's and just, Mays wait on the other that's end. That's special. When you have kickers like this, Nugent and Green, and your special teams play as well as they have. Yeah. Six yards deep, Mays will not bring it out. Lead Minnesota now 20 to 3. To pay. And the sledding has been tough. I remember it well. I was just a lad listening to Ray Christensen call the games on radio. Third and seven. Big play for Minnesota if they're to keep anything going here. And thrown incomplete. Hosack was the intended receiver. Now only by a touchdown. I know John will keep us posted on that one. As Gamble takes the punt return and uh -huh. gets out to about the 47-yard line. Sorry about that 103 people that didn't come. I don't know where they are. Maybe they thought it was too cold. Yeah. Here's a handoff to Maurice Hall. First down, second down, rather, in 10. And the handoff. And here's an opening. And Hall's off to the races, down to the 34-yard line. Hey, nope. No? Well, that's a good guess there, Brad. What is it? I, you know, being close to the border, I'm thinking it's a little old school called Mount Union. All right, my man. Uh, <laughs> at the 33-yard line. Frenzel out to Gamble. Gamble. Wanted to weave back to the inside. 53 plays for Gamble. Play action, Krenzel. Pocket hold 
Holds up for him. There's Vance. Touchdown. Vance with a score. Pointing for a reason. Chris Vance with a touchdown catch. He's had a lot of single. Extra point is good. A minute 15 remaining in the third quarter, and now fourth ranked Ohio State's taken over. Eight guys up to stop the run. That means single coverage on all the receivers downfield. Friends will hold it to the last second and then throws it over the short defender and to the inside of the, the other safety for a touchdown. That's Dozier. That's a pretty low scoring game for how explosive NC State especially has been this year. Jermaine Mays will take this from the 11-yard line. Mays who blocked a punt earlier, trying to get to the corner. Look for a blocker and got it. Still on his feet. And Jermaine's all the way out near midfield. I have to see this to believe it. Minnesota, good field position from the 49. Play action. Abdul Kalink, and he just gets leveled by David Thompson. Those coaching staffs, and their Jake's parents and all those players, that was something special. End of three. Ohio State hoping to own the fourth quarter because if they can, they'll be 10 and 0. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Ohio State in command, 27 to 3. Minnesota needs some offense. They need it in a hurry, and they start the quarter with a third down at their own 46-yard line. Trouble again. I'll do a click throwing long's got maids out there and incomplete. Nice play by Fox. For the last time in there after the low snap earlier by Pruden, and he snaps this one. And Greening knocks it off the side of his foot. Not a good kick at all. And then it takes an Ohio State bounce. Minutes of the game. He lost his father also. Yep, that's right. Second down seven. Maurice Hall. And a tailback now, but it's Krenzel. Slipped a little bit on his drop. Down the middle. Complete. En route to their 10th straight victory. Oklahoma looks like they're going to remain unbeaten, but the Irish luck ran out at Boston College. Must against Boston College. Miami would lose to Virginia Tech. Exactly. Second down and nine. Whoops. That hit Brandon Schnitger right in the back of the head. Krenzel. Pockets holding up for him a little better. He slipped as he threw, though, and it's incomplete intended for Jenkins. And especially against Michigan. Uh, Whoops, there's another bad snap. Another. another punting play. And down he goes. Minnesota's going to get it right there. So fourth time today, a problem with a punting. Now they need some after the botched punt attempt. They take it outside the 31 of Ohio State. Quick pass out complete. And it's Hosack. That time he got about nine. Second down in a yard. To pay. And he's got a first down. First down inside the 20. Nice play fake. Abdul Khalid pumps. And now he's going to go down. Tries to throw it away at the last second and does. Flag down. And a scrimmage. The ball did not cross the line of scrimmage. Good point, Robert. You're well, outside the tackle box, the but pass. you have to get it to the line of scrimmage, not just out of bounds. Get it to about the 20, and it went out of bounds about the 24. To pay now in the run. Third down and 16. Minnesota trying to capitalize on a good field position, but they can't seem to get a big play. Down the middle, complete, but hit immediately. Fourth down and 11. Minnesota's got to go for it here. Abdul Khalid dropped the ball and then got level. Darian Scott flattened him. You know, last week we saw them, they looked good, but yep. I said if they were going to lose, they're going to lose the same way they're winning, and that's their offense is going to turn it over. And they did turn it over a bunch. Here comes Maurice Hall. And another good back from right here in town. Ready over 1,000 yards on the season for him. And Hall to the clear again. And Maurice Hall down to the 44-yard line, <laughs> 17 more yards. Coaches keep asking him, are you getting in shape? And he says, yeah, I'll get there, I'll get there. Eventually. The 44. They come the other way on the ground, and only about a yard that time. Up at wide receiver, and uh, 
And he should have went out and got Swanee if they wanted to get that drop. That's a marker down. Oh. What would happen after you caught it? What? From the 46-yard line, second down at 20. Krenzel rolling to throw and firing. Oh, good Bam pitch. Childers. That's what's kept him out of the lineup. Kind of a strange condition. All the blood flowing and stopping in one spot. And giving us some great looks. Fourth down and two. And they got it. And they got a bunch more. Maurice Hall with a stiff arm out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Runs for 28, and it matches a career high carry for him. First and goal. He'll get it again. Hit by West. Eighth play of the drive for Ohio State. Maurice Hall again. And he got inside the five to the four. Career high day for him. He'd like to get about four more yards right here. And he does. Touchdown. That's the kind of day you like to have on your home field. Sharing time in the backfield with Lydell Ross, who had two scores, and now Maurice has got a piece. And the other Maurice meets him out there, Claret. Well, you know, the first to congratulate him. You know, you know the nice thing about the special teams and defense, and then a little offense at the end. But we didn't have to, you know, we did it with balance. We right. did it with the rest of the team. Slowly, casually, let's Notre Dame getting beat. And moving on up. Nugent, kick down to the four to Mays. And Mays trying to weave up to the 20 and can't get there. Hall, by the way, capped a 77-yard drive in nine plays. Took a little over four minutes for Ohio State. Throw down the sideline intended for Hosack. Then you can do what you want to do when you want to do it. And when you have two true freshmen in that offensive line, you don't want us have to stop, drop back, and right. throw. That is, that is out of character. Bill Kalik, quick slant in, incomplete. Here for the Ohio State job, and, and he's been rumored for other jobs, but he's been there longer than a lot of people been in their jobs in Minnesota. Lance takes the punt return, trying to break a tackle. Nice stiff arm, still going. Finally goes down at about the 45-yard line. Got the ball at the 45-yard line. Scott McMullen in at quarterback now. As another tailback in the act, Jaja Riley. At the 45. McMullen on the give to Riley. And West with another tackle. Up to 18. 18, yeah. This Minnesota club. Riley going to have a first down. Minnesota out game if Georgia will survive Florida tonight. Yeah. That's on ESPN at 745. Ja, ja Riley getting in the act. So we got Boston College. All we got to do is show up and win. We're in our stadium in front of our fans. Didn't work that way. That worked out. Turned it over too much and worked the game in a year and a half at Miami. Riley. Assessment of his club. We'll talk about that in a minute here. Is a slip screen. Flags all over the place. Van Childress. Illegal motion. Two guys moving at once. We got a booth big enough to have a party in. Fourth down at 10. McMullen to throw. Got it, complete. Out to Drew Carter. Here's Jaja Riley. Riley looking for a place to hide. They've had to dig deep due to injury. Final 30 seconds. Mullen will take a knee. I was going to talk about Jim Trestle. We asked him, does your team think they're good? He said, probably. Are we better than everybody else? Probably not. Do we think we're unbeatable? If we do, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, they true. didn't think that today, and they beat a gopher team that came in open for an upset. There's two old friends meeting at midfield. So Ohio State is a perfect 10. They've got a long ways to go, and a lot of big games are left, but this was a hurdle they needed to jump, and they got by it. Let's 10 and 0. Ohio State, they win it. 34 to 3 is the final score. Our blimp coverage, courtesy of Goodyear. For Bob Greasy and Lynn Swan, Chris Vance and his family, Brad Nessler from Columbus, let's head to Times Square Stadium. Here's John Saunders. <laughs>